Hello everyone, Deacon Joyce here. Throughout October, I will talk about some great hymns of the church leading up to Reformation Sunday. 1 Peter 2.6 reads, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Today, we'll talk about the hymn, Built on a Rock, the Church Must Stand. This hymn talks about themes of the church, worship, proclamation, and reformation. The words were written by Nikolai Grunfig, who was one of Norway's best musicians in the 19th century. The strong German hymn tune, Kirchen, was composed by Ludwig Lindemann in the year 1840. This hymn has long been a favorite among Lutherans and was included in the 1941 Lutheran hymnal with seven stanzas. It was reduced to five stanzas in the 1978 Lutheran Book of Worship. Hear the words as you hear the melody behind you. Built on a rock, the church shall stand even when steeples are failing. Crumbled have spires in every land. Bells still are chiming and calling, calling the young and old to rest, calling the souls of those distressed, longing for life everlasting. Surely in temples made of hands, God the Most High is not dwelling. High in the heavens his temple stands, all earthly temples excelling. Yet God, who dwells in heaven above, deigns to abide with us in love making our bodies his temple. Christ builds a house of living stones. We are his own habitation. He fills our hearts, his humble thrones, granting us life and salvation. Where two or three will seek his face, he in their midst will show his grace, blessings upon them bestowing. Through all the passing years, O Lord, Grant that when church bells are ringing, many may come to hear your word, who hear this promise is bringing. I know my own, my own know me. You, not the world, my face shall see. My peace I leave with you. Amen. Please pray with me. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you that your church is built on a strong foundation. And amidst all the struggles of this world, the mission and the work of the church will continue. We thank you for the grace that you have freely given to us. In your precious name we pray, amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed day and a blessed week.